Alright, welcome back. Uh, so this is the last video in the favorite things. Uh, we're only missing one piece, uh, and that is retrieving data from the cloud. Retrieving data is a little bit more complex than, than pushing data. Uh, I saved it for last for a reason, uh, but we'll, we'll get there, right? So first we're going to do the manual retrieval one first. And so go into your uh, pressed update from Firebase, um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to start typing the words self.colorref uh, ref observe single. So here's uh, update from Firebase. I'm just going to kill what was there before, uh, and I'm going to say self dot color reference. So hey color reference, I want to observe something about you. Um, I want to do a single observe. You can see there's only so many options for single observe here, um, and in fact it's this top one that I want. Um, can't see it on my screen, but it's the one that only has uh, the block that you can see and nothing else. Observing single means like, hey, I just want to know what it is right now, uh, and then remove the observer. I don't want to do anything else. I just want to know what it is right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this thing and hit enter just so it kind of auto types this for me. Uh, and what uh, I did is hit control space. Um, what type of event do you want to listen for? Do you want to listen for a child added, a child moved, a child changed, a child removed? Um, I just want to know when the value changes. All right, keep it simple. Um, and then it says there's this block. I like to just click on uh, the autocomplete text and hit enter. Um, and then I want to make uh, my semicolons work out. So what this does is this um, gives you the snapshot, right? It's going to give you one of two things. So it might, you know, give you um, an NS null object. It's funny, it doesn't give you null, it gives you an object, which is the NS null object. Um, or it might, you know, give you uh, real data. In our app, it's going to only ever give you real data, but I like to prepare for when it might have gotten deleted uh, or something went wrong, right? So I'm just going to program a little defensively here uh, and just say if the snapshot that you gave me back is equal to uh, the NS null uh, object. Uh, there's only one NS null object, so you just say NS null, NS null. Then what I want to do is I just want to print a little log. I'll say the value of the snapshot was null. Something went wrong, uh, very, very wrong. Um, and if that happens, I'm just going to return. I do not expect to ever see that message uh, in my app. Oops, I didn't mean to say snapshot. I meant to say snapshot value. Um, so the value of this snapshot, because it's going to always give you an object that has a value, um, it's just that that object might be NS null um, if there's nothing there. Um, in our app, 100% of the time, you always get real data back. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to use the real data. Uh, and I happen to know that that real data is going to be a string, uh, so I'm going to do very little error checking, uh, and I'm just going to assign it uh, to favorite color. Uh, there we go. Uh, so favorite color is equal to snapshot value, because the thing that's at the color ref is supposed to be a string, um, and I'm just going to assign that to my string uh, favorite color. I could do a little bit more like error checking and things like that, uh, but I've decided that that's good enough for now. And then what I want to do is I just want to update my favorite color label. Uh, that will also update the background color of the screen. So quite a bit going on here. We're adding a single observer, um, and we're listening for if the value changes. And if there's a problem, we just want to abandon ship. Uh, but if there is like data there, uh, save it and update the label. So now we should actually be able to run it, uh, and we should be able to see changes both in the back end uh, and in our app. So here it's up. So if I push uh, white to the back end, and then I click on update from Firebase, uh, you can see it, it pulled it back down, which is cool. If I push blue back up there, uh, and I say update from Firebase, uh, it does blue. If I do red, white, blue, red, uh, and say update from Firebase, it's gonna only get the red, right? The other thing you could do is you could um, type in a value here. So if we just typed it in there, and then we say update from Firebase, now it's green. 
Um, and I know that I'm kind of like typing straight in the database, but really that, that typing in the database is significant because it's like maybe maybe you've got like a, an app where there's a lot of people that are like on a team writing to something. Um, the app here doesn't know who put it there. Um, it just knows that, hey, it's reading it from the cloud. The cloud says it's purple. Uh, I'm going to make the screen purple. I think gray is the only other color that I actually implemented. Great. So um, retrieving uh, from Firebase single value, right? Single is not really how Firebase works, though. I wanted to show it to you because there are times where you want to use single events. But most of the time, Firebase actually has constant listening uh, is how it really works. So let's go ahead and do that. You know what? I'm making a lot of videos. Uh, let's do that as a separate video. It'll be great. <laughs> so come back next time uh, for listening continuously uh, instead of just single shot. Mm -hmm.